In this video, we will be looking at the conjugate zeros theorem. Um, that theorem says that if a plus bi is a zero of f of x, then a minus bi is also a zero of f of x. Now let's use that theorem to find a polynomial function of least degree having only real coefficients and zeros negative 4 and 3 minus i. Now our conjugate zeros theorem guarantees that if 3 minus i is a 0, then 3 plus i is also a 0. So to get our function, we know that we have one, two, three zeros. Um, let's go ahead and write f of x equals. Now if negative four is a zero, that means x minus negative four is a factor. Remember, you always use x minus k is your factor. We also know then that x minus 3 minus i is a factor. And we know that x minus 3 plus i is a factor. So basically, I just need to uh, simplify this a little bit uh, to get my function. I'm going to change x minus negative 4 to x plus 4. And then I'm going to distribute this negative through this binomial right here. So I have x subtract 3 plus i. And then the same thing here. I'm going to distribute this negative. So x subtract 3 subtract i. Now to multiply these two trinomials back here, that would be our easiest thing because things will um, cancel off. Um, x times x is x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. Three x times negative i is negative ix. Now I'm ready to multiply the negative 3 through. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And negative 3 times negative i is a positive 3i. And then finally, let's multiply the i through. i times x is ix. i times negative 3 is negative 3i i times negative i is a negative i squared. Um, I'm going to look to see if I have anything that will combine back here. Um, let's see, I have x plus 4 out in front. x squared, that's the only x squared term. I have a negative 3x and a negative 3x. That'll give me a negative 6x. I have I, a negative ix and a positive ix. Those are going to cancel. I have a positive 9. And I have, this is the same as minus negative 1. So that's a plus 1. So I'm going to combine my 9 and my 1 and get plus 10. And then I have um, 3i and negative 3i, and those are going to cancel. And that's everything. So now let's multiply our x plus 4 through this trinomial. Take my x first. x times x squared is x cubed. 
x times negative 6x is negative 6x squared. x times uh, 10 is a positive 10x. Now I'm ready to take my 4 through. 4 times x squared, 4x squared. 4 times negative 6x is a negative 24x. And 4 times 10 is 40. Um, x cubed. is my only term there. Negative 6x squared and a positive 4x squared is negative 2x squared. Positive 10x and a negative 24x is a negative 14x. And then plus 40. So this is my function that has zeros of negative 4, 3 minus i, and 3 plus i.